Do a car a torch of death if you feel you are worthy. Thanks for the great videos. Could you please do a car a torch of death by T.O.P. For 21 Pilots, a car a torch of death. Please, please do a car a torch of death. You should do taxi cab or a car a torch of death. And yes, I was the one who wanted a car a torch of death on yesterday's vid. Well, several people are asking for this song and it's been a little while since I did a 21 Pilots song and I love 21 Pilots. And no, I don't feel worthy, but we're gonna do it anyway. Car a torch of death is an awesome song, so let me explain. Hey everybody, my name is Clifford Stummy, I'm the Pop Song Professor. Welcome to my channel where we're all about helping music lovers like you to understand the deeper meanings of popular songs so that you know what your artists are saying and can enjoy your music more. Today you're going to have to pardon maybe me sounding a little bit congested or hearing some noises in the background. I don't have any time to film this other than when people are mowing the apartment complex outside. And I want to say that if you want to request me to explain a 21 Pilot song, commenting it down below is a really great place, but you can also check out my Patreon account uh, where for different levels of support, you can have just an, a huge say in which songs I'm going to explain next. In fact, the first person to sign up on Patreon gets to choose a song for me to explain here on this channel. All right, well enough of that, let's jump into the song. Well, a car a torch of death. These three things, they refer to things that happen in the song. In verse one, the narrator, or we'll just call him Tyler since Tyler wrote this song, uh, and since a lot of his lyrics are typically pretty personal, uh, he's feeling really bummed out. He starts his car and then begins to drive away from someplace. And as he does so, he sings, I barely feel a smile deep inside me. So he doesn't like the fact that he's leaving something or someone. In the next stanza he sings, I begin to envy the headlights driving south. So he's driving north. I mean, and I don't think it really matters which direction he's going, but it's just the fact that he wishes he were one of those people going the opposite direction. And he sings, but then I remember when you packed my car, you reached in the back and buckled up your heart for me to drive away with. Now, a lot of people, a lot of explanations will say that this is about God. I'm not 100% sure, and we're going to get into that in just a little bit. At, at this point, it's just significant that somebody has put their heart in his keeping. Now, this could mean that somebody really loves him, or it could mean that somebody's depending on him to protect them. In the refrain, he sings, I begin to understand why God died. So he's starting to empathize with God, and he's referring to Jesus dying on the cross. In verse 3, we meet this, the other two characters, the demon and uh, just her. He sings, the demon sat there waiting on her porch. This her, we don't really know who it is yet, but I think it's somebody important. And he sings, and when my car was far out of sight, so after he's left and gone his way, he crept in her room and stayed there for the night. Tyler sings a lot of songs about emotional difficulties and depression and dark thoughts. And so I think that's kind of what this demon is referring to. I think he's going in uh, after this girl and a lot of those dark thoughts that Tyler sings about happens for him at night. So it makes sense that this would happen for her at night too. Others have suggested that she's on the brink of death and that's a possibility too. Verse four, things get a little bit more intense. Tyler starts to understand this demon a little bit more. He says, and then I felt chills in my bones. The breath I saw was not my own. I knew my skin that wrapped my frame wasn't made to play this game. Then I saw him torch in hand. He laid it out what he had planned. And then I said, I'll take the grave please just send them all my way. So it's like he meets that demon for a second and he understands what's happening to this, this girl. And he realizes that that is terrible for a thing like that to happen to her. And he, he offers himself as a substitute. He says, uh, I'll take the grave. Please just send them all my way. And so I think he is sacrificing himself and he's saying, no, come and focus on me, but leave her alone. Verse five, we have a common motif in 21 Pilot songs. Uh, the air begins to feel a little thin as we're waiting for the morning to begin. So all, a lot of 21 Pilot songs are about waiting for the morning, having that fight during the night, and then for the sun to come up and everything to be okay for a little bit. He continues, but for now you told me, hold this jar. And when I looked inside, I saw it held your heart. For me to walk away with. It's the same idea as the second stanza where he sings about driving away with it buckled up in his car. It's still his to protect or to take care of or to feel loved by. Not really sure yet, but in any case, it's emblematic of a deep relationship between two people. All right, so let's talk about the overall deeper meaning of the song. I happen to think that this girl is a friend of his who's experiencing these thoughts, and he who has experienced it too knows what it's like and wants to take those uh, difficulties onto himself. Now, I don't think that's actually an option, so I don't think it's going to happen, but at the very least, it seems to have helped him to understand how Jesus feels when he loves us. The kind of love that makes you want to put yourself in danger to keep somebody else from harm. I think this girl has entrusted him with her heart, and he feels the weight of that. Some people might say that that heart is God's heart, and so that's God's love coming towards him, uh, but if you look at the use of some of the pronouns, I don't think that quite lines up. In that second stanza, when he talks about the heart, he sings, you gave me your heart, right? Uh, and then in that chorus or that refrain, he begins to understand why God died. So it's an immediate switch from you 
to third person. Now there's a switch too if we're going to consider that it's the girl because in stanza three uh, he says her but when he's talking about the heart he says you but those stanzas aren't right next to each other so it's not an immediate switch. It almost feels like he's kind of shifting the tone uh, and telling the story to us a little bit but also talking to her uh, during the first and the last stanzas or the second and the last stanzas. Basically it has to be one of the two and I think that the person switch is too abrupt for it to be about God's heart. Not that you can't learn something from the song if you believe that that is the answer. If you want more explanations of 21 Pilot songs please check on my Patreon where we can have actual conversations about these songs like with monthly Google Hangouts or even personal Google Hangouts, all sorts of other cool stuff. In fact, I'll probably be asking my patrons which 21 Pilot song to explain next. So if you want to get on that conversation, there's a link in the description. As always, feel free to join the song meaning community by subscribing, check out some of the other videos on this channel, and comment below a song that you'd like to hear me explain in a future video. Thanks so much for watching everybody, talk to you later.